Hi, I'm Sharon Housem, and I am currently on the ASAP Jedi Leadership Committee. I was motivated to join ASAP's Jedi Leadership Committee because I think that climate and equity are the most important issues, or really the single most important issue, because they're so linked of our time. During the previous federal administration, I was looking for opportunities to resist to step up and try to make more of a difference in ways that would build on my background and experience and use some of my skills. I had been a member of ASAP and attending JEDI meetings for a while and taking that up a notch by joining the ASAP JEDI Leadership Committee seemed like a great opportunity. I also joined the JEDI Leadership Committee because of my experience with working for over 18 years directly for Native American tribes. In that work, I've often found that other governments and organizations don't know or forget about tribal sovereignty, histories, and data, and different requirements for work on tribal lands. And although I'm not Native myself, I wanted to bring the experience I have working for tribes to the conversation and offer reminders to look more deeply into those kinds of questions. I think the greatest value of ASAP's JEDI efforts is making sure that all climate adaptation professionals keep justice and equity at the forefront of their work. I also really appreciate that ASAP's work on this includes not only the JEDI statement and JEDI commitments, but also concrete actions to move towards JEDI developed by ASAP members who have stepped up to draft and revise them. And then they're reviewed by ASAP staff to ensure their feasibility and determine their timing. The actions include ways of evaluating effectiveness. And these are for ASAP as an organization, but they could be models for other groups. For me personally, the greatest values of ASAP's JEDI efforts and my work on them have been constantly learning new things and being challenged to do things differently. If I hadn't joined the leadership committee, I probably wouldn't have taken as much time to focus and to reflect on this and wouldn't have gotten this great experience. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Habron. I'm a professor of sustainability science and the Department of Earth, Environmental and Sustainability Sciences at Furman University in Greenville, South Carolina. I'm talking to you today from Asheville, North Carolina, where I live. And um, kind of part of the motivation for me participating in ASAP is my intense passion for climate justice. So climate uh, change is the biggest uh, threat that we have uh, globally in terms of sustainability. And I've always been strongly um, motivated by issues of equity and trying to make sure that we can have equity uh, cut across all the actions that we take relating to climate change. Um, so ASAP started for me as part of a project. Um, we were able to get some of the network funding um, to do a project here in Asheville. And I was really impressed with ASAP and decided I wanted to participate. Um, and certainly being in the, uh, the JEDI committee made the most sense given I teach courses on sustainability and social justice and resilience and adaptation. Also served here in Asheville on our sustainability advisory committee on energy and the environment, um, working on climate plans. Um, and so I think this is a great way of making a larger impact across the nation, working uh, intimately with a great association like ASAP and also being able to engage with a greater network beyond academia, beyond my little small world here in uh, Western North Carolina and the upstate of South Carolina, um, and uh, particularly focusing on accountability, making sure that if ASAP wants to be a leader in climate resilience, that we do so with equity, it's part of our mission. Um, and so I encourage everyone to get more voices on the committee uh, and serving in leadership roles, uh, and particularly want to make a case for um, you know, a diverse uh, committee that participate in JEDI. Um, so again, I encourage you to join, uh, reach out. You can find me, I'm Jeffrey Habron, G-E-O-F-F-R-E-Y, Habron, H-A-B-R-O-N. I'm the only one out there. So you can go to the web, find my webpage, uh, email if you have more questions about participating in, in JEDI. So hopefully look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks. Hi everybody. Uh, Alex Basaraba here from the ASAP JEDI Committee. 
Um, I've been lucky enough to, to support the ASAP Jedi Committee for about two years now. And I think what motivated me to join the Leadership Committee specifically was an opportunity to learn from um, some amazing practitioners that are operating within the space that are already leaders in their own right, in their own fields, uh, in their own organizations that are that are operationalizing these principles of justice, equity, diversity, inclusion, day in, day out. Um, and hopefully in my own way to be able to contribute to the conversation, to be able to support uh, capacity building and learning, uh, to bring my own unique skills, perspectives, experiences to the broader committee's work. Um, and it's been a really enriching experience so far. I've been really lucky uh, to get to learn from this great group and uh, really honored to be a part of this, this effort. Um, I'd say the greatest value of ASAP's JEDI efforts are to um, really connect the dots for people um, in the adaptation space, specifically across all sectors, government, private, uh, nonprofit, um, in our own unique ways in the work that we do to uh, operationalize these principles. Uh, of justice, equity, diversity, inclusion. This is hard work. It's challenging work. It's long-term work. It's life work. Uh, and it requires uh, critical community building, identity and self-awareness and self-reflection um, and a, a tenacity uh, and commitment to um, thinking about new ways of doing things um, with the recognition that many of the ways in which our society has operated and, and is currently operating is, is not working for all and that we all lose when all are not centered. Um, and so I think a part of this process is to um, elevate those issues, to identify solutions to those issues and what is the most critical issue of our generation, um, the climate crisis. And we're all here to support that collaborative effort and it's a real honor to get to support this leadership committee in hopefully uh, moving the needle in some small way through that process. So please consider joining us. Uh, we are looking forward to getting to work with you uh, and to grow with you and to have an opportunity to uh, continue to build on this, this foundation that this amazing group has already built uh, over the coming years. Thanks. Hello, my name is Vanessa Lewick. I joined ASAP's Jedi leadership team in the making at the very beginning. I joined because of my own personal experiences as well as my work and my research. My mother and her family were forced to relocate several times. Later, they escaped and then took years uh, to settle. Um, some of them never really did actually settle. I was born into a town that lost a lot of land and most of its industry to an earthquake. The town struggled for years to recover. Later in my work and research, I was working on sea level rise relocation and retreat, and in fact, I still do. However, at that time, I became deeply concerned by what I was seeing, in particular how these adaptations were being carried out or not, who was included or not in the decision making, and where and when the relocations were taking place or not. In addition, based on my experiences, work and research, climate change is inherently a Jedi issue and any adaptation needs to be grounded in Jedi principles. So when the call came out for ASAP to form a Jedi team, I answered. It has been truly a joy and a great honor to be able to work with my fellow Jedi leadership members. I encourage you to listen to their videos. They're wonderful people. Now, despite not being able to really participate this past year, I have been leaning on sharing, using, and pushing many of the approaches, choices, and programs that the Jedi leadership team has used developed, supported, or encouraged. So when uh, the opportunity to came to create a video to talk about the greatest value, what I see as the greatest value of ASAP's JEDI efforts, I chose three. The team provides community that is working on JEDI. And it's working on JEDI and adaptation, even if we are not working on the same topics, it is incredibly valuable for me to know that my fellow members exist and are applying JEDI in adaptation. The second one is that JEDI efforts provide examples. ASAP's JEDI efforts provide ideas, examples, and even templates for others to build upon, to use directly, or to use or to use as inspiration for other areas. I think the accountability group and the yearly topic trajectories are two good examples, but there are many more. 
And finally, the efforts and team provide courage. I work in British Columbia, and although reconciliation is somewhat embraced, the actions that need to be taken are often not embraced. I've gained courage through ASAP Jedi efforts and team to keep on pushing for change and challenge the lack of action. In particular, the lack of action in settler communities, by academic institutions, by funders, the groups that I am a part of. And with that, I would like to invite you to consider joining the Jedi Leadership Team. Thanks.